Hi, my name is Nature Nick uh, of Animal Adventures. Uh, I'm a, uh, an animal trainer based in Eastern Long Island, and I'm here today with my friend Tarzan, the squirrel monkey, to talk about a very important point. Um, people ask me all the time, especially during my shows, if uh, a monkey would be a good pet and where they could get a monkey, but um, it's not actually a good idea. And today I'd like to outline a few of those reasons why uh, primate pet ownership is not really a good idea unless you are licensed uh, and qualified to take care of them properly. Uh, monkeys, when they grow up in a human family, they tend to pick one favorite person when they grow up. And the reason for that is because monkeys, just like people, will go through puberty. When they turn about five or six years old, if there's not another monkey around, they pick that favorite person. It could be you, could be your wife, could be your husband, could be your kids. And they will aggressively and viciously protect that person. If anyone else in the family unit tries to come close to that person, to their favorite person, they will aggressively defend them. So that's one reason monkeys aren't always that much fun to have in a house. It looks like he's on good behavior right now, but he's actually not tr showing his true colors. Um, when a monkey is loose in a house, they actually do not understand limitations on their behavior the way your dog or cat would. You can easily teach a dog or cat to stay off of the sofa or to stay off of your countertops. It's not easy to teach a monkey how to do that. The reason why is because it's not in their psychology. Monkeys, you have to remember, come from the jungles, okay? Every jungle in the world has monkeys in it. And there are no limits to where a monkey can go in the jungle. They're a three-dimensional animal that can go be up in the trees, high in the canopy of a rainforest one second, and down on the ground foraging the next second, and everywhere in between throughout the day. So your sofa, your countertops are really no obstacle for a monkey. And when you tell them not to go there, they don't understand. Now, another reason monkeys are not that much fun to have in a house is because monkeys have very, very specific behavioral and enrichment needs. And what that means is because a monkey is so intelligent, they have a very large brain in proportion to their body size, um, they can get bored very, very easily. Your dog or cat is fine waiting all day long while you're at work that you can give them one or two toys and they'll play with them throughout the day and wait for you to get home. But a monkey can get very bored of just one or two toys. This guy gets constant enrichment throughout the entire day. Um, just filming this movie, this little uh, little movie that we're doing right now is great enrichment. He's out of his enclosure, he's interacting with me. But this is just one example of what we do to keep him occupied throughout the day. He gets numerous toys, he has empty soda bottles with little foodstuffs in it that take him hours to get the food out of every day. He has his own TV set, he even has a cage mate. Uh, in his enclosure. It's actually an owl monkey who may make an appearance in another video. So his uh, cage mate actually grooms him throughout the day, right like I'm doing right now. So that is, those are just a few examples of how you have to keep a monkey entertained. And if they're not getting entertained, they're going to get in trouble within a house. Now, the last reason why monkeys really aren't that much fun to have in a house is because monkeys live a very, very long time. A little squirrel monkey like Tarzan here, he could easily live to be 20 years old. If he was a capuchin or a macaque, he could easily live to be 30 years old. If you have a chimpanzee, they can easily live to be 50 years old. That is a very, very long time to have a pet. I mean, people don't even have children that long. You have your child for 18 years and they're done. They're off to college and they move out on their own. Could you imagine having a two-year-old? Really, that's what a monkey acts like for their entire lives. That could be anywhere from 20 to 50 years. So in short, if you are looking for a really, really great pet, um, something that would complement your home and your lifestyle, please visit your local animal shelter. There are numerous animals there that have been given up uh, by their owners um, for one reason or another um, that are house trained, they're, they're used to living in a house, in a home, and they would love to be in your home with you, okay? So please visit your local animal shelters. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, educational video uh, by myself and Tarzan.